Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. And be sure to hit the bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. In case you don't didn't know, subscribing is completely free and one of the best ways to help support me and my channel. All you have to do is click the big red button. doesn't cost you a dime. So today we're going to talk about how to make your very own tie-dyed glitter vinyl. It's super easy to do and really fun and hopefully you guys can see, but I did this flower making um, the tie-dyed glitter vinyl and all you need is some glitter adhesive vinyl. I used Cricut brand. They're probably the best brand to use because they do have a textured vinyl which is going to work best for this and I used some alcohol inks. So let's get to the workspace and get started. All I've done is taken some Cricut silver adhesive glitter uh, vinyl and taped it down to a piece of wax paper. That way I don't get any of the alcohol inks on my table in case anything happens. So now we're just going to pull out a couple of colors. We will do, let's see what we've got. Um, we can do like wild plum. Maybe we'll do some like blues and greens for this one. So you're going to be able to make kind of your own pattern. So all I'm doing is pulling out my blues, greens, and my purples from my stash of alcohol inks, which has grown significantly. And you know what? Let's try a mixative in here. I'm going to grab out the blending solution as well. I think that's probably all the colors. So this is kind of everything that I have as far as my colors are concerned. So I'm going to pull out a couple that I like. We'll do like that one. We'll do amethyst. So right now we have cool Perry. Amethyst, we'll do Wild Plum, Laguna, Stream, uh, let's do Cloudy Blue, and we'll do some Clover. So we'll put all those ones back. I don't have a huge piece, so we're just going to work with a few colors. So I have some blending solution and this. I will say wear gloves when working with these. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw some gloves on really quick. This doesn't get as messy um, as some of like doing with the blanks and things because you're not touching this as much. But just to be safe, because I don't really want blue and green hands, we're going to go ahead and stick some gloves on. So just like when you do alcohol inks on any kind of surface, all you do is you just drop them around on your whatever you're dropping it on. And you'll see this, it spreads so well. Now it's kind of not laying completely flat, so I am getting some kind of pull towards that direction, but it's fine, it's no big deal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple drops here and there. Now these colors look really similar, Laguna and Clover, but once they kind of mix together with some of the other colors, you'll see some differences. So again, just kind of dropping my colors wherever I, sort of feel like putting them. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can be super creative. Now I will say the one thing with this, unlike the alcohol ink blanks that I've done with like the acrylic blanks, you can't go back and wash this out. So you're kind of stuck with whatever you end up with, but this just becomes such a cool idea and it looks tie-dye and it's super fun. And it's just a cool way to take some of that boring silver glitter and turn it into something really, really fun. And it's so easy. Like your kids could do this. Your husband who doesn't craft could do this with you. It's so much fun. Now this blue is super light on the silver. So it probably will get washed away a little bit when we blend, but it'll help kind of lighten up some of the other colors that are on this. So you can kind of see where it turned like a dirty gray. Let's do, let's do stream. I love the stream color. Stream color is so pretty. It's like a really dark tealy almost. I love it. So I'm just going to, like I said, just kind of drop it where there's maybe not a lot of color. Throw some over here. We'll get that chunk. Okay. And our last color is cloudy blue. So let's just See how cloudy, oh, cloudy blue is pretty against the silver. So like I said, we're gonna add some blending solution so that these blend together really, really nice. Although they really do seem to like to blend on the um, vinyl. I This was an accident. I was bored and wanted to see what would happen. And I found this and I was like, oh, this could be cool. And it was really fun. So I'm just gonna drop a bunch of blending solution just kind of 
all throughout, not really looking at where I'm dropping it, just kind of plopping it in there. And you'll see it start to change before your eyes. Really, really fun. Now I have a mixative, which I didn't try yet, um, but let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna use the rose gold. With the mixatives, you wanna make sure you shake them before you use them, because you can hear there's a mixer in there, and it helps get all that metallic out to the edges or to the rest of the stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and shake that up really, really good. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop a little bit of rose gold and we'll see what happens. I can't make any promises that the mixative is gonna work, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know what it's gonna do. I'm just gonna drop it in kind of the places where there isn't really any um, color. And then I'm gonna drop a little bit of blending solution on it and see what it does because I haven't tried this. So this, the mixatives might not work for this part, but I think the rest of it works really well. And I don't know, maybe by adding the blending solution, the mixatives might work better. And I might throw a little bit right in the center just so I can get a look because it's kind of falling off the sides a little bit. So let me throw a like a little dropper right there in the middle. And that way we can see kind of what happens if we add just a little dab of blending solution. So what I'm gonna do now is let this dry up. Should take a little bit of time once it's dry, we will take a look and see how it looks more done. Our tie-dyed glitter vinyl is all finished. I let it dry for a couple hours. I don't love the mixative. I don't know if you guys can really see it in there. I don't love how that came out, but I love the rest of it. We're gonna go ahead and cut it so we can take a look and see how it works. Again, this is Cricut glitter vinyl in silver. White would work really well. I think any of the light colors would work, but depending on the color, it may change the color of what your alcohol inks look like. But I think this came out really, really cool. So let's cut a couple things out of it. We're gonna go ahead and just cut out a simple flower, nothing too crazy, but we'll give this a shot, make sure that it cuts. The one thing that I will say is something like this isn't going to be able to use like anything that's gonna be washed, like a cup or something like that, or put out on a car. You won't be able to use it because the alcohol inks will wash off, but most of the time the Cricut glitter vinyl, the color comes off of it anyways if you put it like on an epoxy cup or something. So something like this, you'd wanna put it on something you're not going to get wet because the alcohol inks have to stay dry or they're going to wash off. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cut out our flower and I'll weed it and we'll take a look and see how cool it looks. Now that it's done cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down and we will weed it. Now I will say, and I'm gonna point this out, that some of it did kind of leak under this part where the um, liner is. I don't think that will affect it, it shouldn't. So let's go ahead and trim this down. And again, I cut this just on the regular uh, Cricut glitter vinyl setting, so hopefully it works. I haven't had a ton of great luck with their glitter vinyl. As you can see, it really doesn't seem like it cut. Um, I'm not a fan of this vinyl, but that's partially why I wanted to test this. So it didn't cut like at all, <laughs> at least not that I can see. I, I don't think it did. Um, again, I use the setting they recommend and it doesn't seem like it cut. Did a little tweaking of our cut settings because apparently the glitter vinyl setting just wasn't enough pressure and I was able to get it cut. I absolutely love how this came out. It looks so pretty and it's gonna be one of a kind. Nobody else will have a decal like this. Again, you're gonna wanna make sure that you only put this on things that will remain indoors and dry. You may be able to do like a clear spray over it but I have not tested that yet, and I'm going to do that in a different video to see if we can maybe clear spray it with like a Krylon triple thick or something like that, and that might allow us to use this on something that will get wet, but I haven't tried it yet. So I just wanted to show you guys how to make your own really cool alcohol ink glitter vinyl. Look at how cool, isn't that pretty? I love the way this came out. It's super sparkly and it was really easy to do. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. Be sure to hit that bell icon that will let you know when I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting.